Welcome back. Now it's time to catch up with the dynamic singer-songwriter who took his hit musical, Mo Fire, to New York since we last saw him as a guest here on the show. Now, always great talking with him. Let's give him a warm welcome. Eric Wainaina. Expecting that, but oh, I suppose no, it's no, you, no, hey? Yes, 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 I'm very well. Yeah, yeah. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah? yeah? Now, what is this Kenya's Robin Hood thing? How is it just stuck with you? You know, I actually didn't write that part of the bio. You did? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I guess, I guess what they mean is that, as in, in my music, I try and sort of address social issues. Yeah. Um, and I mean, uh, the, so one of the things right now that, that we've been sort of dealing with in Kenya as it has been um, the increase of, of MP salaries. And uh, yes. I, I don't think as a country that we can afford that, you yeah, know? Yeah. Um, and that's, that's one of the things that, that we've been addressing. Okay, lean back, take a seat. Yeah, like, just sorry. Just relax. Ooh, look at this wonderful <laughs> couch. Relax. Yeah, I think I just might take a nap. Okay. No. <laughs> now, we recently saw you um, at the World Cup. Yes, that was with, me. Yeah, with just a huge, a host of African stars. Yeah. And this, of course, was uh, for the Millennium Development Goals, yes. Eight Goals for Africa. That's correct. How did you get involved with that? Well, uh, they, they called me. I, I got a call from, uh, from a promoter in, in South Africa. And he mm. said, look, we're working on this song for the UN. And um, would you, would you uh, want to get involved? Would you want to sing on it? Yes. And I said, fine. And then he called me the next day and said, actually, now the plans have changed. Would you Can write? you... Can you write a, 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 a pitch, yeah. a, a song? Yes. Um, and, and he said, can you have it here in a week's time? I had it there the next day. <laughs> it's like, you know, what? You know, because I, I, it's, it's like, look, Angelique Kijo's going to be on the song, by yes. Mal. I said, yes. yeah, say no uh, more. HHP. You know? uh, yeah, exactly. Like so we, I, exactly. So I just wrote the song. And then he, then he called me like maybe a week later and said, okay, look, okay. So we've decided to go with Jimmy Dulu's song. Yeah. But can you write the lyrics? Yeah. I said, Okay, fine. This is just keep on developing. That. That's fine. I can and do so that. I ended up getting songwriting credit for writing the lyrics. Oh, that's just Thank brilliant. Thank brilliant. You. Actually, brilliant stuff. Now, two different World Cup performances as well. Yes. Of course, with Loiso. We yes. caught up with you earlier. Loiso and the, the Suleiman brothers. Yes. You know, it's been a good run for you. It's been nice. Um, uh, two years ago, my wife said to me, you know, you're going to play at the World Cup. I was like, she come said on. that? Yeah, and I was like, yeah, come on, Shiva. You know, it's not, it's not going to happen. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because South Africa's got all these great musicians. Yes. You know? and it's, so it's, but it, it, it came true. So yeah. it's sort of my crystal ball in yeah. some ways now. So whatever and, she says is going to happen, it's going to happen. <laughs> um, so uh, what happened was with, the, with this song, I got contacted um, by this Indian businessman based in Kenya. He yes. said, look, I've written these lyrics. Yeah. Salim and Suleiman are these big Bollywood this, writers. Yeah. Would you like to participate? They were just yeah, fab. I love them. They're wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. They're wonderful, you know. Yeah. And they've, they've got amazing music that they're, that they're writing to. to to, to films in Bollywood, mm. and I mean, India, and is the, India is the future. Yeah, and why not? You and know? why not? Now, of course, the last time that we, we actually met, you were about to take Mo Fire abroad. Yeah. Okay, let's just take a quick uh, look at Mo Fire. His Royal Highness, His Majesty, the ruler of the airways, the lord of the frequency, yeah, 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 yeah. the king of spin. No more. The voice of the Almighty, and my people say, Voice of the Almighty, Bo 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 Bo, Mo Fire, Mo Fire, Mo Fire, yes, Mo Fire. Again, me say, Mo Fire, Mo Fire, Mo Fire, Mo Fire. So, how did the run go? It was wonderful. It was really cool. Yeah. One of the things we were hoping for was that because the, the, in, in two ways we thought the play might confuse an American audience <laughs> okay. in that uh, we're talking about slums, which they have no sort of contextual framework for. Of what you know? a slum is. What is it? You know, when people talk about projects in the U.S., talk about high-rise buildings, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> the, the living standards there aren't wonderful, but it, they're better than slums. Yeah. And so sort of taking this story, um, we were wondering whether they were going to get it. Yeah. And so what we did was that we had a character called the professor who was like a tour guide and was taking the audience through the play. It, it, was, it was cool. And so even the pastor, when, for example, in, in Kiswahili, mm -hmm. he was able to sort of help the audience bridge the gap. Yeah. And, and, and New York loved it. And the, the festival that we were playing at, its objective is to get um, playwrights like myself to meet 
producers. And so we met this wonderful producing couple who have got this musical about Fela right now on Broadway. I mean, that was and, just you know, huge. And, and, we and, and, and we're, yeah. we're talking. And so uh, we're hoping at, uh, at this time next year that we will be on Broadway. We hope so. If she, you know, if Sheba says it, then it's going <laughs> to happen. Then it's going to happen you know, anyway. So. <laughs> it's going to happen. Now, what is this about your album, Eric? You know, I... Uh, Again, the web is a wonderful thing. I've seen the cover. <laughs> I've seen the names of the songs that yes. I, <laughs> it was due. I don't know when that it was yeah, due last mm, year. Yes, it then was. Then it was it March was. this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, times are wasting. <laughs> what? <laughs> In fact, let me go release it right now. So, uh, no, okay, no. What happened was well, the record's been ready for about a year. Yeah. Um, but we just didn't have the capacity to do the musical and the record uh -huh. at the same time. You know okay. what I mean? My wife and I run a little production company yeah. and we're sort of seeing it's, we, we need a lot more muscle. Mm -hmm. um, so the record's coming out this year. Yeah. Um, like I said, the record, it it's called Love and Protest. It is? It is, okay. for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah. um, and and uh, the, the, the title sort of, um, sort, of sign sort of captures what the record's about. Mm -hmm. It's not so much that they're opposites. It's not there's love songs and there's protest songs, no. Like Che Guevara once said, you know, that I think that revolution comes out of a sense of love. Of love. And I think that we protest because we love, mm. you know. Um, if, if, we are, if we are ranting about the way Africa is going, yeah. you know, it's because we love Africa yeah. and we want yeah. things to change. Yes. Um, and so, yeah, the, 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 the album sort of captures that. We're looking forward to it. You better. But you are going to sing a track from... Yes, we will. The album. Will yes. you tell us about it? The song is called Fancy Car. Yeah. Um, uh, once again, I, I wrote the song after reading this report by, the, by Transparency International mm -hmm. and the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights. Yes. The report was called Living Large. Okay. And it sort of investigated the fact that uh, members of parliament were, were, were using a lot of public money mm -hmm. to buy luxury vehicles. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with people driving fancy cars yeah. if you bought it with your own money, mm. you know. Um, but then if you're diverting money that's for, once again, education, sanitation, etc., we can't, we can't afford that. No, we you can't. Know? We, we can't. cannot. For sure. You gotta keep working. We must. Kenya's Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> Had to say that, come on. That's all we have time for today. Thanks for joining us. And thanks to all my guests. And of course, our house band mode three. Don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Just search for The Patricia Show. And I hope you enjoyed this show. Eric's gonna play us out with a track from his new album, Love and Protest, with a track called... Fancy Car. Fancy Car. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> It's good to see you again It's been so long since you've been here You had me thinking you were dead How's your taxpayer mansion? How was your taxpayer breakfast? How is your taxpayer automobile? You know you drive it so fast
can feel the heat as you drive around. 